YouTube, this is me, Nikki Rossler. So, you remember how I have done a lot of Crash Bandicoot voice impressions, right? Like, I've done some compilations of characters that I really liked from Crash Bandicoot, like separate compilations. Well, to change things up, since I have played the Spyro Reignited trilogy lately, I'm going to be doing a big mega collection of Spyro voice impressions from various Spyro characters in the three Spyro games that could be seen on the trilogy. So yeah, I'm gonna start now. What about this Ganasty Ganark character? Now, I understand that he has found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple! He has been contained in a remote world where he'd be no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is so ugly. Ugly? That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. I'm Spyro the Dragon, and I'm about to save the Dragon Kingdom. Yeah! Yeah, so I kinda did the intro a little early. Hey, Spyro? Yeah? You here? Y yes, I am. So I suggest you to try voicing the 100% ending. Well, isn't that kinda like cheating, sorta? Just do it! Well, right then. Fine. <laughs> ah. Spyro the dragon, you have defeated Ganasty Ganark, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every single bit of treasure in the dragon kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. Uh, what's a minion? Never mind. You know what they say, for every good battle, you need a good adversary. I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. <laughs> oh, crap. Here we go again! Alright, alright. I did the 100% ending of Spiral 1. Let me guess. I think I've read your mind. I think you guessed right, Spyro 2. I'm sure you're gonna really like this. Oh wow, that is my favorite game. I'm excited to voice those cutscenes. I bet you are. Bring it on! Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. <coughs> but ding! We should go on vacation! Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. <laughs> Dragon Shores. Yeah. I haven't been there since I kicked Nasty Nork's butt. <laughs> How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? <laughs> Last one, there's a Nork. What? Never mind. Oh, well. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. Dun, 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 whoosh. Meanwhile, is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments of these orbs, and maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they could spit fire like this. Oh! Jokes aside. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance at stopping Ripto, and you know it. Wow, 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 wow. It's working. It's working. Wow, 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 wow. I got a dragon. Wow, wow, wow. Whoosh. Wow. Oof. Whoa. Rough landing. Uh, hi. Uh, which way to the beach? Hmm, huh? Hey, stop staring! 
Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that, pussycat. <laughs> well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? Ah! Dun 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 dun! A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Chomp! Gulp, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't had the time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto to see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Dun-dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun! <gasps> <gasps> oh no! Whoosh! Oh, hello! We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If I could collect enough of them, they could be used to defeat Ripto. <laughs> Hunter, where have you been? Well, I, uh, I got a little lost. Sparrow's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is? Sparrow, look, there's no way you could get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters had taken over the castle here in Summer Forest. You're gonna have to get to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I can do that. Why doesn't the dragon get to torch Ripto, hmm? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? Huh? Huh? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Chores by lunchtime. Well, about that... Oh, come on, Alora. I was just about to... Anyway... Before you get into the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters got to Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Dun 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 whoosh! Can't either of you. Dun, 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 dun. Where are we? Mm, no dragons. Wonderful. Grr. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Oof. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down! No! Oh my! Oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! 
crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! Tell your friends to take the orbs and scatter them all through Avalar. <laughs> Quickly! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun! No! Gulp! Crush! Get the orbs now! Dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Oh, uh, yeah. I would have went after him, but... Didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Dun 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 dun! No! Crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but Gulp will be even more of a match for you. Bring it on, Shorty! Ah! Gulp! Come here now! <laughs> Destroy him and make sure it's painful. Huh? <laughs> Gulp! Get me out of here! <laughs> so long, dragon. <laughs> What a wuss. Dun dun da 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 Dum 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 dun 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 dum dum da da dum da da dum Hmm 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 Aha! That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has caused me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I would have been bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I would have given him a lot more than that. I was a champion, bantamweight boxer at university, ding, ding, ding. and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! Ooh! <laughs> Boo! Why, you! You! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dun dum dun da 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 dum. Ha <laughs> Gulp, we have finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. <laughs> Gulp, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Help! Yeah! Yeah! You cinched my cape, dragon! You are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, flame breath. Gulp! Lunch time! No! Dun dun dum dum Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Alora, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you're around, the creatures of Avalar are starting to get along. Well, since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know that you really missed being on vacation, we wanted to do something really nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I gotta go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal, so we could send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a little while and soak up a few rays. <sighs> Where'd Alora go? I better follow her. Dun 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 dun. 
I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon World through the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're gonna need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. Oh! Ah! <gasps> so, you thought you could have gotten rid of me? Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear Moneybags to sell me some bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you will be the world's smartest pile of ashes. <laughs> this is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! <laughs> hey, give that back! <laughs> well, I tried. Ah ha ha ha! You little fools! I'll try to destroy you all with my new scepter. I'm going to rename this place Riptonia. <laughs> ah, pff, whoa! Oof, dum dum da dum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nikki. I know you like Ripto a lot. Then again, we're gonna get to that good part where I. Beat his butt, right? I bet, yeah. And I'm really liking those cutscenes and voicing so far in Dee Dee. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Swing! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Come back here, you useless animals! Hey, Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yup. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you have just sealed your fate. Yeah, yeah, I know that you kicked Ripto's butt real good, Spyro. But I'm moving on to the third game anyways, because that final part where you did kick his butt actually made me really sad. Made me miss Ripto. I know, I know. Although, like, I kind of can't understand why you're in love with Ripto so much. You never told me about why. I was going to. Never mind. Also, because this project has been taken a bit too long to finish, and I only had time to do Spyro 1 and Spyro 2. Spyro 3 will possibly be in September. So this is the first Spyro character's voice impressions showcase for now. Spyro, how about you say goodbye to the viewers for now? Alright, Nikki. Okay. Bye, YouTube. Nikki will have her birthday tomorrow. So will I, actually. But not tomorrow. But just in a couple days. Right? We have September birthdays. Of course we do, yeah. Alright, bye! See ya!